Hey, so this is gonna be a small procedural waterfall scene and let's get started. So we have this default queue and we can actually use it. Let's scale it like that and we can scale it in the x-axis. Okay, it's working. It, this is gonna be our cliff. This is gonna act as our cliff, okay? So let's create our pound, which will be a cylinder. Okay, let's get this. We can put in our geographic view and let's scale down in the z axis and let's scale like that really, really big. Okay, I'm just placing it where I want okay scale down again and mm, I think this is gonna work for, for what we want okay our waterfall now a simple plane let's put right there let's switch to edit mode and then edge uh, extrude in the Z axis okay like that maybe a bit more okay let's whoops select and press W and let's subdivide it tenfold okay all the way up okay now switch to object mode what fires and subdivision okay we can also press Z and shade smooth okay looking clean we're gonna use this later later on we can scale it for now and let's go to the shading tab right there let's press 5 okay let's create a new material we're gonna uh, put the phone here and make a gradient effect which will reproduce the the water when it falls into the pond and is spreading along it okay so let's create let's hit new let's put oops pond like that okay and just me okay now we are gonna create those nodes okay let's create the texture mapping let's connect object into the vector okay and now we're gonna use three text different textures around here gradient is the one the first one then wave texture and last but not least the noise texture okay so let's uh, adjust the values right here let's switch from linear to spherical okay and bands to rings you can leave it sign let's change 7.5 right here we can use 17.3 let's crank all the way up into 16 and we can reduce it to 0.6 so this one we can use 1.2 crank all the way up and here we can leave at 12 we're gonna now mix all those textures so let's use a mix RGB and here we have it uh, let's plug this into this into whoops into this okay and we can actually duplicate it and leave it right here and now we're gonna need a color ramp okay and put it as is okay let's plug this into this this into this and this one 
into this one. We can duplicate this color ramp and now we are gonna create the actual colors of our pound and we can put it as linear right here. So let's put it like that. We can leave it white. This is will be our phone color. This is will be our pound color. Okay. So I don't know. It's a cool color. I'm gonna actually copy that color. I'm gonna use later on and let's plug it into our base color okay so where is our phone well let's hide it for a moment this cube you we can't actually see this that's because we need to to change change a bit of our location right here so let's put like that okay not showing up it's kind of shy and this one we can use it oh, okay here it is here it is you can see so now I'm adjusting it and this is showing up right now okay our phone we can move it along our cylinder right now okay and then you can animate the phone changing both or if you want only one of them the scale value you can see the grid in effect or the distortion I believe yeah the distortion I think distortion can be better because it can last for longer values but um, anyways let's unhide our cube we can just move it a bit more around here let's give a just a simple material to to create right now so we have this material let's put like I don't know any color you want you're gonna see it later and let's add the waterfall material but first let's uh, let's place our waterfall here right so I'm gonna go back to layout okay it's kind of weird to see our waterfall here okay okay mm. okay I'm placing it right there the orthographic is kind of making me sad you know okay okay it's getting better I'm scaling in the y-axis let's press to put it like that okay maybe make it a, a bit like that just to adjust make it a bit you know thinner okay this is gonna be a waterfall so let's go back to the shading panel and let's create a new material so waterfall okay so where is our view here is so let's add our texture and our mapping node right here and we can use it again as vector and let me just check here okay so we're gonna use a noise texture and in order to make it go in only one axis we need to separate it so let's add the separate x y z twice we need and plug that 
in your vector okay I'm also gonna change the values here because I already know some of them that's 50 and leave it at 0 okay and let's plug this Y into distortion and or X into the vector okay so we can add a math node right here and change it to greater than here and plug the color into the value and then let's add a color ramp okay and let's put the color that I saved right here and this black will become white okay let's plug this one here and finally our base color right here okay so this is a lot bigger we need to change our value here and let's uh, scale it down right here too okay this is better and we can actually crank the detail up to 16 so this is uh, the first part okay uh, I'm gonna show you the, the splash that we can the splashy effect that we can add here into the waterfall and we can simulate the water running to the pond like that interesting right and you can actually uh, use more water strips if you like to to give a faster uh, look so it's pretty cool and well see you next video bye bye